Good morning. So I was putting together some kits today and um, I thought I would try to do a quick video. I'm not sure I have four kits, um, oh, five kits that I wanna share with you guys. So I'll try to do a very um, quick of each one. So this one is the pink kitten. Um, it's kind. Of, it's all vintage, to the best of my knowledge. Everything that you'll see in today's video uh, was um, came from an auction and or an estate sale. So I don't know the ages, um, but stuff like the Rick Rack for eight cents. You can see that pink and white. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's pretty old. It's a J.C. Penny rickrack, so that kind of gives you an idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's just start at the top. Here is this is really cool. I'm gonna pull this up here so you can see it. It is an actual postcard. And there's some writing on here, September 28th of 09. I don't know 09. I wouldn't think it was 2009, so 1909 maybe. And it's to Mother for uh, remembering the birthday. And then the rose keeps it closed, and when you open it, says best wishes just a word of glad remembrance and a wish in all goodwill so that kind of set the stage for the whole kit here here is um some old roses these are old decals probably for um ceramics or Oh, yeah, ceramics would be my guess. And then some f old flower used stamps. I think there's like 10 of them in the pack. And they're all different ages. Like this one here is 15 cent stamp. But they're all flowers that are in this pack. And then a yard and a half of this old trim and it's never been opened so chances are it's still a yard and a half and then the Rick Rack which is really cool the multicolor pink and white and the top of the plastic is open but it does not look like it's been used I think it's just because the package is so old and then look at this how cute is that this old baby beauty pearl buttons. They're all pink. The little baby. These were 10 cents back in their day. They're sewed onto the card. And then here's the little baby. And that's what the back looks like. It's from Illinois. I don't know when. And here's this. This is beautiful. It's a handkerchief and it's in mint shape. I don't see any holes or anything in it um, or picks. But it's got roses on the corners and then that beautiful rose there. And then here's this embroidery piece. It's got a lip that was embroidered on it and it's in mint shape too. I don't see any holes or anything. The pinks and the greens. And then this pink and white doily. Now this one is kind of fraying and it looks like maybe a piece came out there on the side. So this would be perfect for using in the junk journal. You won't feel bad about using that one up. And then here's some old vintage 
lace and I have this here this one is about let's see 33 or 34 inches so just shy of a yard for this pink with the lattice and the lace on it and then there's the other one that I just absolutely love and it has roses so it's pink and blue if you can see that hold it there for you and it is 28 inches so over a half a yard for that one and then these two old skeleton keys and they're pretty rusty and old but they're way cool okay so that is kit one the pink kit and these can be shipped however if you want them um, priority mail or first class <clears throat> try to accommodate and then if you wanted a more than just one kit so these first four or the first three that I'm going to show you are $20 kits. $20 were without shipping. So you'll pay for the shipping on top of it. But there is a lot of stuff in a kit. So here's the, uh, the purple kit we'll call. So this first one will be pink. This one will be purple. This beautiful old doily in multicolor purples. And I believe it's in perfect shape. I haven't seen anything, but again, um, these are old and vintage. <clears throat> so years and when they were made, I don't know. Here's another one. This should go like this. Beautiful greens and purple with white flowers on the end. And I think it matches that, <clears throat> excuse me, perfectly. So here's the uh, another bag of stamps. 10 stamps are in there. And then another, this one's beautiful, of the decoupage transfer of purple roses. And then look at this old spool. It's actual um, cardboard that's on there. So I thought that was really cool. And then some purple buttons on the card. And some green buttons on a card. And then here's some purple rickrack. Still on its plastic, but then again... Um, the top of the plastics come open. It says three yards of lavender. I would guess it's three yards of lavender. Haven't opened it, so I'm not sure, but my guess would be so. <clears throat> <coughs> and then here's some um, of a male and a female. I was trying to read that date on there. I'm not sure what the date are. It doesn't say. And then that's what the back of them looks like. And then here's some beautiful purple and kind of a cream. Hold that still for you. Trim. Crocheted trim. And this is... Right about 32 inches, so just shy of a yard. It's really pretty. And then here's some old purple and green roses trim. 
and that looks like it's right at a yard. So a yard of that. Trying to keep it all so you can see what they look like. And then here's some green and white roses. And that is a yard. And some really pretty purple trim. And I believe that's a that's a yard as well. Now, oh wait, here's one more. Um, a white rose applique, which I thought looked pretty in there. And then some skeleton keys. Can you see those? Those ones are really cool. And then this here is uh, the same color, and it's an old handkerchief, and it's kind of tattered on the end, which gives it some good character. But I'm just going to throw this one in as an extra for this kit because it is pretty tattered. So that's the purple kit. And um, again, they're both uh, 20 bucks plus shipping. I'm going to take a quick picture of that so that when I put it on the Facebook page, then I would already have the pictures done. Okay, so that's purple. And then with Christmas coming up, I thought it would be kind of cool to do a Christmas one. I have uh, some Christmas colors, so... Lay this one out there. Make sure it's in there. Here's this doily with its beautiful Christmas colors in there. And I believe it's perfect. So you could even use it as a Christmas doily. The yellows and creams. And then this hand stitched doily if you will but it's not crocheted it's just hand stitched with the trim crocheted there at the end and then here's a pot holder if you will it's kind of got the thickness of a pot holder but it would already is a nice pocket as it is for a journal and then this I thought looked like a snowflake, which would tie in nicely with the Christmas. And this one here, I have this old thing of stamps, Christmas stamps from 76. And there's like, there's never been even used, so they're still on the sheet, but there's 36 of them, I think. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, 36. Christmas stamps from 70, 1976. And then the American made, um, you can see where the old sticker was at, or something, tape or something was on there. And there's four of them. Um, it says that they're pearl that are still attached. And then the gal there. And then here's some old vintage buttons that I thought would look pretty in here. Let me see if I can hold them up for you. Some red and creams, I think. This one here is a velvet. And then this one has flowers and another flower. I thought those would look really nice. And then here's two cabinet cards kind of gave you the size this one's a big one and it's from Missouri if I can hold that there where you can see her and that's what the back looks like and then look at this one 
isn't she cool? And the back. She goes there. This one, it looks like the, the corners were pinned into something. Um, because they have holes, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure um, what they had it stapled to or pinned to or something, but it does have a couple of little tiny pinholes in the corners. And then this here's some old trim. This is crocheted, and I think it is, it's, it's over a yard. It's really pretty, and it's kind of like a little stiffer than not real stiff but kind of it's kind of stiff Put that there you see that and then this one's beautiful this is kind of beige color which ties in hold it there so you can see about an inch and a half wide beautiful trim I think this is, this is a yard. And then look at this beautiful gold. It looks like um, whatever that stuff is that runs in between the little loops. If you can see that, it's got a shimmer to it. Be a nice trim on a Christmas layout. And then look at this old trim. Hold it still so you can see it in the back of it. I'm not sure how much is here. This is about 30. 29 inches but it's really cool and then here's some go more gold trim now this stuff it's already on a sticky back so when you pull it that top piece right there is already stuck so somebody took a lot of time to put that down into this holder to keep it from fraying with all these loops. How much is here? And this is over a yard. loop and then here's some red and gold rickrack I'm not sure how much is on here it looks like it has been used because it's been pinned my guess is it is at least well it's over a half a yard so five at one two three four five six thirty inches maybe so maybe close to a yard I'm not sure, but there's quite a big chunk there. Okay, so that will be, we'll call that the red kit. And I'll take um, only U.S. shipping and um, PayPal for payment only. this down and I'll put the links in where to find me on Facebook if you'd like to private message me or have any more questions on any of that you'll be able to find those in the link okay so those are the three kits that are $20 and now these two kits that I'll show you are $10 
So we'll call it the kind of fall, so brown and brown and orange, orangey color. So here's a beautiful doily. I don't see any holes or any tears or anything in it. So I think it's in beautiful shape. And then here's a smaller one. I thought they looked nice together. And then this is a napkin, a cloth napkin. And it, it has some fraying pieces coming off on the edges, a little bit like right here it looks like at the end. Don't see any holes, just kind of the trimming. But that would make a nice pocket if you're doing a journal or altering whatever. Okay, check this out. I'm going to hold this so you can see it. This is ruffled lace. And so they're ruffles with flowers, brown flowers on lace. I don't think it's open. I don't feel it opened anywhere. Um, a yard and a half of the brown. And then here's three yards of rickrack. It is kind of opened here at the end, but I don't think that any has been used. That those colors look nice together. And then here's some brown crocheted trim. It is, we'll call it 25 inches long of this brown. The edges are a little frayed where it was cut at some point. And then this is really pretty, this orange and brown. I don't know how old that is, but that is just really pretty, and it's pretty thick. It's three inches. The brown flowers, if you can see it like that. And I'm not sure. A yard, probably. Oh, over a yard of the brown and yellow. And then here's some yellow buttons on a card. And then check these out. I don't know how old these are. These are um, coasters with this blackbird on there. There's five of them. Those are so fun. I love those five of those. So we'll call that the brown kit. And this will be $10 plus shipping. And then the last one we have is the blue, blue and green kit maybe. Okay. Get this all pieced up here. Sorry. Oh, I didn't take a picture of that one. So here's this beautiful white. Look at that one. Doily. And then this one, I love this one. This is kind of green and blue. Doily as well. With the sides. And I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't think that they're puckering, but maybe a little bit here. So that would be cool. Oh, it goes like that. Okay. And then there's this blue and green ribbon. It's a yard and a half. Hold it up here so you can see it. Maybe this side's better. Still unopened.
And then I love this. This is like one of my favorites. Look at how it's almost kind of silky or satiny. Those old vintage roses. Over a yard for that. I love that and then here's this kind of green hanky here with white um, flowers maybe in the corners it feels like a hanky colors just beautiful And then here's some old lace with satin, kind of that runs down the middle. And that's over a yard. That's really pretty. And then here's some white. Look at this one. They look like old picture frames, kind of. Together. And this one is ooh, just shy of a yard, maybe a half an inch shy of a yard. But there's plenty there to do a nice page layout. And then here is, look at this, lucky day. The talk of the town. These are like blue. This is a really pretty blue. And then her with her little hat. I wish I knew how old it was. And then when you turn it around, it has the old ruler across the top. Lucky day trademark. And then hand ruling for mending. Made in the USA. It's still all sewed on there. Like she is so cool. And then look at these. These are kind of paper tissue-y type um, uh, coasters, tea coasters, and they were made in England. And they're a kind of a deep green and then a turquoisey kind of bluey green that's in there. But those are so cool and they're so little. So there's that kit. Okay, so there we have it. Um, if you're interested in any of the kits, uh, PM me. Again, the information will be down below. I'm going to post these on Facebook for sale. Um, the first three bigger kits, those are all $20 a piece plus shipping. And then these last two smaller ones are $10 a piece plus shipping. So if you're interested... Um, or have any questions don't feel or don't don't hesitate to private message me and I'll try to answer all your questions I'm going to put together a couple more kits in the future um, see if I can get some of this craft D stash out of here that I have going on so hopefully I was able to put some kits together that um, you guys will all like and could use so thank you for your time and have a great day.